Hello, in this session, we will look at an introduction to Terraform uh, provisioners. So Terraform provisioners can be used whenever you want to model some specific actions on the local machine or on the remote machine that we have created using Terraform. So let's say if you want to take some actions, you want to do something, uh, maybe uh, execute some command or execute some script or any actions you want to do either on the local machine or on the remote machine like the EC2 instance that we have launched using Terraform. That is where we can make use of this Terraform provisioner. So this can be uh, useful if you want to bootstrap the servers or you want to prepare that infrastructure for some service you can make use of your Terraform provisioners for that. So Terraform provisioners are mainly used uh, when you want to execute some scripts or you want to execute some commands on either the local machine where your Terraform is running or on the remote machines which was created as part of your resource creation or the deletion. So maybe you want to uh, run some command as part of your resource creation or you want to run some command as part of your resource deletion. Then you can make use of your Terraform provisioner for that. So you can think of this Terraform provisioner as your instance user data. So like how in your EC2 instance, we have the user data, which can be used to bootstrap the servers. Likewise, we have your Terraform provisioners, which can be used to run some scripts. And this gets executed only once during the creation of the servers or if when your resources are marked as tainted. So however, Terraform does not recommend using this and this should be used as your last option. So uh, Terraform straight away does not recommend uh, using Terraform provisioners uh, due to some security uh, reasons. However, if you don't have any other options, then you can go ahead and make use of this Terraform provisioners. So uh, like I said, you can make use of this to run some commands or execute some scripts either on the local machines or on the remote machines which are as part of your resource creation or the deletion. So let's say for example you have your AWS and within this AWS you have launched an instance using Terraform. All right. So Terraform has um, created this resource for us. Now maybe you want to run some commands on this. Maybe you want to copy some files or some directories to this EC2 instance from your local machine or maybe you want to execute some command or some script. So maybe you want to bootstrap this EC2 instance when this resource is being created. This is where we can make use of your Terraform provisioners which will do these actions, will take these actions, so either copy some files or execute some commands. We can do this by making use of the Terraform provisioner. So provisioners can be used to bootstrap your server. So like I said, if you want to bootstrap the server, you can do it by making use of this Terraform provisioners like maybe you want to clean up before the resource is destroyed or run some configuration management. All those things can be done by making use of your Terraform provisioners. Now, whenever we talk about your Terraform provisioners, there are three types that you can use depending on your use case that you have. So we have the file provisioner. Now we can make use of this file provisioner whenever you want to copy some files to the remote machine that is the newly created resource or if you want to copy some directories like multiple files if you want to copy you can do that. So at any point when you are talking about copying some files to the remote machine we make use of your file provisioner. Then we have the local exec which is your local executable. So if you want to execute any commands or any script on your local machine. So local machine here is your machine where your Terraform is installed. All right. So on that machine, if you want to uh, run some commands or execute some scripts, we can make use of your local exit. So maybe, you know, you want to create a file with all the IP addresses of the resources. You can make use of your local exec for that. And then we have the remote exec which is the opposite of your local exec. So if you want to execute some scripts or if you want to execute some uh, commands on the remote resource. So let's say your Terraform is creating an instance and you want to execute some commands or execute some script on that remote resource. We can make use of your remote exec for that. So these are the types that we have in your uh, Terraform provisioner. So once again, Terraform provisioner can be used whenever you want to take some specific actions either on the local machine or on the remote machines 
we can make use of your terraform provisioners okay these are the three types we have uh, that's basically an introduction to your uh, terraform uh, provisioners that's all for this session thank you once again before you leave please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you like the video leave a like and please share the video